Welcome to this week's edition of Orange Line. I'm Nick Williams. And I'm Justin Hauser. Starting this week's show off, Rena Murphy has a piece on the Ultimate Frisbee team. Baker University's Ultimate Frisbee team held its first tournament on Sunday the 26th of October at Liston Stadium. It was called the Flash Flight Invitational. The two Baker teams played two teams from KU. Captain of the team PJ Matolka has high hopes for the future of Ultimate Frisbee at Baker University after this weekend's tournament. He shared with me some of his future goals for the team. We don't have any plan that we're going to be hosting per se. Uh, we'll probably just stick to this one for this year. Uh, this is a good goal for us and uh, since our club started two years ago this has been kind of, kind of a dream in our eyes and uh, this is actually getting off the ground so maybe for the spring we'll, we'll look at going to a tournament. Uh, KU does host a, a really rather large tournament of uh, 20 plus teams called Fools Fest uh, in the spring, so we may look to go to that because it's only a 20 minute drive up to Lawrence. Member of Booth and faculty of Baker University, Kaylin Emig, played in the tournament on Sunday. She spoke with me about what made her interested in joining Baker's Ultimate Frisbee team. My name is Caitlin Emig. I am the AmeriCorps VISTA coordinator for service learning and volunteering. And I've always played frisbee, whether with my friends or my teammates when I was in college on the swim team, but I never had a chance to play um, competitively. It was always just for fun. And I wanted to go out and play with the Baker team and um, just have a different way of exercising. Um, and having fun with all the students. PJ's passion for Ultimate led him to create Baker's first Frisbee team. I asked him what he loves most about Ultimate. Uh, I, I enjoy seeing everybody enjoy the sport. Uh, and it's, I don't think it's too often that you get to say that uh, about a particular sport, but really the premise behind playing this sport is everybody gets to, gets to have a good time, no matter their athletic ability, no matter their experience in a game. We have people that come out that have never come out before um, and, and walk away saying that they're going to be coming back every single time because it was that much fun. Um, I, I just enjoy seeing people enjoy the game uh, as much as I do and um, just being able to share it with them. Overall, the Flash Flight Invitational was very successful. Booth looks forward to more activity this year. I'm Rena Murphy reporting for KMBU TV. Thanks, Rena. Now we'll take a look at the first freshman of this week's show. How you doing? My name is Jay Anderson Jr. I'm from Dallas, Texas. Uh, I chose Baker because I like the surroundings and it was a nice place to, nice place to come. The one I want attention with the teachers. My major is biology. I would like to further that and go into pre-med to become a pediatrician. Uh, my extracurricular activities are track. I'm a hurdler in sprints kind of guy, and I'm just having fun here at Baker. It's always nice to meet a new face on campus. Up next is this week's question of the week. Uh, I am ready for winter because I like cold weather. It's good times. I'm not ready for winter because it's cold and. I don't got that many warm clothes, and I like beach clothes, and I like shorts and short sleeves, and wearing sandals, and I won't be able to do that when it gets cold outside, especially with the snow, and that's why I'm not ready for winter. Yes, I'm ready for winter because basketball season in the winter. Thanks for that. We'll be right back after this commercial break. Welcome back to Orange Line. The Baker Wildcats are six and two. Head coach Mike Grossman came into the studio to talk to us about the team. I'm Alex Gove and I'm sitting here with head football coach Mike Grossner. And I understand we've got the blackout game coming up. Tell us a little bit about that, if you would. Yeah, we're, we're playing Missouri Valley, who's, I, I believe, ranked six in the country. I think we just got ranked in both polls. We're 24 and 18 in another poll. And uh, it should be a big game at home. The blackout, I, I, I think that's something... Uh, that uh, is going to be real special if, if we can get the fans going and get the t-shirts in the stadium blacked out and get the tailgate party going. It's going to be a great atmosphere for our kids. Right, and I know Teresa Yetmar was kind of important in putting it all together. How did you get involved with it? 
Well, we had a meeting. It all starts with a meeting, right. and we threw some ideas together and, uh, you know, what would be good for Baker University and how could we get the students involved and, and excited about a big game. And I think back when we had this meeting, I, I said, well, we need to take care of business on our end. We right. still had three games to go uh, to get to this point where the matchup was going to be real big against Missouri Valley. And we took care of business on the field. And, and put a five-game streak together and got ourselves to six and one. And uh, this, this should be a big happening Saturday. If, if uh, kids ought to come out early and enjoy themselves and then get in the stadium and give us a home field advantage, uh, the, more no, the more noise we can have when they have the football in big situations uh, is, is only going to help us. And, and hopefully we, as a, as a school, just uh, have a great day on Saturday. Right, and I know that the turnouts have been fairly well for the football games so far this year, and the last couple of games have just been just been blowouts. What's been going on with that? Well, we'll take blowouts. Right. Uh, we, you know, we we talk each week. Just just take care of business, one game, one half at a time. And our kids have really done a nice job, workmanlike, businesslike approach to each game, not looking ahead, and uh, we're on a roll, and and that's nice. Uh, Football is a game of momentum, whether it's in the game or week to week. And right now we've got that on our side, and we hope to continue. Well, you certainly have the momentum on your side right now, Coach. Everyone hopefully will come out for Saturday, the blackout game against Missouri Valley and two nationally ranked teams in the NAIA. And uh, thank you for coming in, Coach. Thank you. Appreciate it. You're welcome. Now it's time for us to meet our second freshman of the week. My name is Daniel Garcia, and I chose Baker because of the friendly atmosphere and like they would send postcards and it was just so personal. And I am in Student Activities Council. I'm going to open with for a sorority. I'm also in Mulgata. Um, I'm originally from McPherson, Kansas. 